Hi, my name's Keith Cooper and in this uh, short video I'm going to look at printing canvas on the Canon Pro 200. Now the Pro 200 is a dye-based printer uh, capable of very good results on glossy papers and some art papers and it should have no problem printing on canvas. In fact I know that because I've created a custom ICC profile for this particular canvas. Now the canvas I'm using is has been pre-cut into A3 plus sheets. Now A3 plus is 13 inch by 19 inch. Uh, that's the largest standard sheet size on this printer. If you're going to cut from roll canvas and make your own sheets of canvas, do pay careful attention to the quality of the cutting because Curled edges, bent edges and the like will cause problems for your printing. Um, it will hit the head, you'll get smudges, you'll get marks, you'll get problems with it. Um, you can get canvas pre-cut into sheets, um, much easier. Although you're obviously limited by the size, what you're going to do with it. Now for this particular one, um, this is an A4 size wooden frame. It has um, sticky covered sticky plastic on the side here which you can peel off and it makes a sticky edge. The idea is that you print something this size, you put your print over it, you'll need to trim it and cut it and that's something I won't go into the details of that because that varies with every single type of frame you can get. But you can get these from art supplies and um, they're quite easy to find. But anyway we print it, print the image, cut it and stick it and we've got a canvas sheet. Um, we've got a canvas print that size. Now, what about if you want to make a bigger uh, print? Well, you can actually just print this as normal paper and put it in a frame. Um, make sure you leave it to dry for a good amount of time because otherwise the ink can come off the print and collect on the glass under service if you choose to use glass. Or you can even just glue it with PVA glue onto some board and put it in a frame. So there are lots of different options for using canvas. Personally, I don't much like canvas for, you know, for most shots, but I know a lot of people do like using it. So this is a, a way of using it with this particular printer. Now I'm going to use the Canon PPL print layout software for this. One, because it's free software and it's actually quite good. I, I should say I've written loads of articles um, about aspects of using this printer, full review of the printer on the North Light Images website. Uh, links are in the information with this video. But all I need to do to set this up is load of shit and I'm using the top feed. It works perfectly well during top feed. You don't need to use the back feed or anything like that. We'll pop that there. I just move the guides across, put that down. You can see there's the, they're ready. Now I've already set this uh, on the screen here for A3 plus 13 inch by 19 inch and canvas as the media type. You need to set that for this. Uh, you can override it with that, but I just find setting the uh, media type on the printer as well as doing it on the, on the computer just gives that extra bit of assurance that you've actually got things right. Helps prevent making simple mistakes and wasting print, um, ink, whatever. But uh, there we go, that's ready to print. Now, you don't really want to leave that there, so that's just a tidy like that. As long as it has a clear feed path, we should be okay. But now I'll go over to the computer. Now I've uh, opened up the image in Canon Professional Print and Layout. And you can see that rather than normal printing, I've selected uh, gallery wrap. Now the gallery wrap mode uh, allows for the edge of the print, uh, the, the canvas overlapping. So it gives you a clear wrap. Now I've set this, uh, I've created a custom frame size of A4. Uh, that's 210 millimeters by 295 millimeters, which happens to be the size of that particular frame. As you see, it's quite large, but if you look at the image here, you'll see that it's been expanded beyond the normal image size to reflect it. Now, there are a whole load of different options that uh, the Canon software has got. Depends on taste and the image. Now, it's a hard mirrored edge. 
What I would generally prefer would be a continuous soft edge. And there's that example there. And this is just how the print looks at the side if you're doing a gallery wrap. So we've got that set for that. I'll just check the print settings. I've set the media to canvas. I set the paper size to A3+. Obviously quite a bit bigger than the frame we're using, but doesn't matter, we'll trim it off. Set top feed, print quality high, color management. I'm using a profile for this particular canvas and I'm using the perceptual rendering intent because it happens to look a little bit better. Uh, there is no hard and fast rule as to whether which rendering intent to use. Just use whichever looks the best. You'll notice I've got the soft proofing option enabled here just to give me a guide for it. Very useful in this. But anyway, we've got that set. All I need to do is just press print. So now waiting for the computer to process the image. It's not a particularly fast laptop, so it'll take a while because it's a very big image that I've used for something else. I've just scaled it to fit this size. I haven't resized it or anything. I'm just using the scaling in the printer driver and the Canon software. Works absolutely fine. So we just got that there and I now just wait for something to happen. There we go. There's the canvas going in, just prints, just like normal paper. Um, it's moderately thickish canvas. This is a matte canvas. And what I'd suggest is that you may find that matte canvas needs coating with a varnish or something like that to really bring out the color. Uh, when I personally print or uh, do canvas prints, I use roll canvas on a much bigger printer and I use a glossy canvas. Now the glossy canvas comes out um, like a photo print and it's great for framing just as is. I've got one or two around the house of particularly large panoramic prints that I've done that way. But uh, for this example here, this happens to be a sheet size that I've got quite a few sheets of this paper from a sample back a while ago. This is an HP canvas, um, this particular one this was from a test pack. This is HP Artist Matte Canvas, 380 gram per square meter. Here comes the uh, image and the software, as well as doing the mirroring, and I'd say there are several different styles you can use, also adds alignment marks just to make it a bit easier to use when you're uh, finally attaching this to your frame. Here's the image, nearly done. And uh, as I said, this particular canvas, the colours come out of the printer somewhat muted, but put a coat of varnish on this, uh, paint it on, spray it on, and it really will get you a lot more depth to the image and make it a lot more robust for handling. Well, there we are, there's the print. So it's come out quite well. See the guide marks for applying it uh, to the frame here. We've got the mirroring effect, uh, although I should say this is canvas extension rather than mirroring. Different options, whatever you like the best. But uh, what I would do next is, after I've let this dry a bit, is uh, cut it apply it to the frame. Now, I'm not gonna do this uh, because this happens to be the only spare frame this size I've got, and I don't particularly want a printed picture of this particular image, but uh, you get the idea. So there you have it, um, easy canvas printing on the Canon Pro 200. Hope that's been of use. Do have a look at the other videos and the written articles I've done. There's lots more detail in those. Um, but uh, thank you very much.